Hi friends, welcome to Cindy's Corner. It is the beginning of December and the holidays are upon us and you may have friends dropping by or you know you are coming back from an event and you want a little snack so you know it's the end of my work week and now I'm gonna fix myself a snack and a beverage and I'm gonna take you guys along with me. So I'm gonna give you some ideas today about a nice easy to put together cheese and cracker tray. Cheese and crackers, what an easy go-to, you know, when you need a quick snack. But we're going to kind of talk about how we can make it special. Actually, I'm going to get this plate out of here so we can talk about what we've got here. So one of the things that I always have in my fridge, so this is something to remember when unexpected guests drop by, is I always buy these little blocks, these eight ounce blocks of cheese. They slice really nice. They come in several different flavors and you can always have something available. And I'm a cheese lover, so I have this very frequently for myself. So I've got, what I've got here is I've got three different kinds of cheese. I've got the classic Monterey Jack. I've got the Pepper Jack, which is fun. It has a little bits of jalapeno in there. And I've got some classic cheddar. Now I've just, I'm just making a small cheese and cracker tray. So I've just already gone ahead and sliced four slices out of these blocks. And I wanted to talk to you about some ideas about, you know, you could certainly make a really simple tray and just put these little rectangular slices out on a plate and that'd be perfectly fine. But what if we do something a little different? What if we take those and we cut them into different shapes. How about we leave one of them in the original shape and then one of the other ones we cut in half so that we have squares like this, okay? So just, you know, I'm thinking about things that will make my plate look visually interesting, okay? So now I've got this set of rectangles here and I'm going to cut it across on the diagonal so I end up with little triangles like this okay so now I've got a rectangle a square and triangles and already this this looks interesting okay so we got different three different cheeses three different shapes now, another thing to make it a really easy tray is, you know, you got your crackers. Now, I like to have what I call a cracker basket. And when things go on sale, that's when I stock up. So my favorite cracker actually of all time are these club crackers. And I really like the multi-grain flavor. It just has a lot more flavor than the regular kind. So this, I, Whenever this goes on sale, I buy several boxes of this to keep in stock because I eat these all the time. So that's one. Um, Cars has a whole variety of different kinds of crackers. This particular one is a cracked pepper cracker. So, you know, you can start thinking about crackers that have some interesting flavors to them. You know, to have a piece like this cheddar on top of this would be really nice, you know? Okay, and then I always like to keep a couple of different gluten-free things. This, this brand, uh, this is called Crunch, Mast, Crunch Master. It's a multi-seed, it's a baked rice cracker. These things are incredibly delicious. They're gluten-free, they taste fantastic, they're very light, so it's a wonderful bite in your mouth. So this is something I always have on hand too. So here, I pulled out a couple crackers here so that we have three different kinds. And, and here's another thing too. We got three different shapes. So, you know, again, we're having things that have some visual interest. So now I think, I think it's time to start putting our plate together. So I have this lovely wooden plate here. And first thing we're gonna do is, I think we should get the crackers out here because the crackers are a little larger than some of these other things. Now you can certainly just fan the crackers out, okay? And I think that's what we'll do, but we don't always have to put them 
like in a straight line. We could make like a curved shape and we can, here's a little pile over here like that. Okay, so here we, here we go. So we got crackers in different areas of the tray. Okay, and now the other thing that I have that really, now, I mean, crackers, cheese and crackers can't go wrong with that. But if you have a little extra time, some of the things that I keep in my fridge is I keep, when nuts go on sale, I buy nuts and I put them in um, Ziploc bags and I keep them in the fridge. So I keep, so here's some walnuts and here's some pecans. And here's another thing that I like to get that's really nice on a snack tray is the wasabi peas. A little spicy and just a nice little bite to go with a cocktail. Another idea is to have some dried fruit. Also in my hydrator, I have a Ziploc bag where I keep different kinds of dried fruits. And what I've got here, I've got some dried apricot halves and these are some dried cherries. Those are really good. If you've never had them, definitely go try them out because they are really terrific. Okay, so I'm going to put some of these things around my tray. And now I'm going to put the cheese because I have all these little things here. So I want to get the cheese. Now, also color. Okay, I don't want to put white cheese right next to these white crackers. So I definitely want to put these cheddar pieces over here and I'm going to kind of just stack them I mean just lay them out in a line here and we can even put a couple over here like this okay now here's a darker cracker so I think over here we can put actually I think okay what I want to try I've never done this before so we're going to try something new okay I've seen I've seen this okay let me show you over here Okay, so you got the two triangles. So I've seen people do this on their cracker tray. I don't know, can you see this? Let me move these things here. Okay, so what they do is they cut the things in, in triangles like this, and then they stack them next to each other. Can you see this one, Duke? It's, it's, it looks kind of, like, I'll hold it up so you can see it, because it is, it's kind of a really interesting visual and it is makes it really easy to grab this piece of cheese. Okay, so look at this. So what I've done is I've stacked them with the pointed ends going opposite directions, but right next to each other. Okay, I just think that is a really cool look on your tray. Look how, look how, check out how that looks. That looks so cool. Okay, and now, okay, let's move this. Okay, and now I'm just gonna take the rectangles of the Monterey Jack and just put them over here like that. Okay, so now we've got a really full tray now. So we've got, again, just three kinds of cheeses, the cheddar, the Monterey Jack, and the pepper jack. We've got three kinds of crackers. These are the, oh, I think this is gonna be really good. These are the Cars water crackers that have the cracked pepper flavor, and that's gonna be really nice with Ah, oh, that's gonna be really nice with that cheddar. And then we've got the baked rice crackers over here, and we've got the club crackers over here, and we've got a couple of nuts, we've got some wasabi peas, and we've got some dried fruits. And what a nice little tray to put together for a couple of people and have with a beverage. Okay, I'm gonna put this over on the table, and then we're gonna get started on our beverage. And tonight, we're gonna make a white Christmas sangria. Mm. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, now let me take the cheese away. And then uh, we're gonna, and we're gonna get it. Also, you know, I always have a couple of uh, different uh, breadboard cutting boards around so they can be they can, you, could, you could serve that whole thing on there as well oh and I forgot to mention you can you know at my grocery store they will have these little fresh fruit um, little deli containers with fresh fruits so that's another you know if you're 
coming to say, say you're on your way home from an event, you're gonna stop by the store, grab some snacks, and have some friends that you saw the concert with over. You know, you could just grab a quick tray like this, rinse it off, dry it, and then put that on your cheese platter too. That's always a nice, nice thing too. Okay, let's put that away. Okay, we're back. Okay, so let's make some white Christmas sangria. This is gonna be so fun. Now look, look how fun this looks. Now what I've got in here is I've got a quarter cup of cran fresh cranberries. I cut up half of a Granny Smith apple because it's got that green peel. And I've got about a, a little over a half of a sliced lime in here. Okay, so we can just shake that up a little like this so we get the colors all mixed in there. Okay, so now we're gonna start building, building our drink. Okay, so I've got a white wine. I've got a Pinot Grigio here. This is what they call split. And when you're doing just for, uh, you know, a small group, one or two people, or maybe three, you know, something like this, and you don't want to buy a whole bottle of meat, this is not something you drink all the time. Okay, I'm just going to pour that whole bottle into here. So I'm using um, this uh glass jar you can use like a nice pitcher if you have something okay now the next thing we're gonna get some vodka and we're gonna get some Cointreau okay let me get my shot glass let's measure this out so to this we're gonna add two ounces of vodka okay and we're gonna add one ounce of the Cointreau. Now typically almost all the cocktails I make you never want to have more Cointreau than your other alcohol. It's it's pretty strong. This is an orange liqueur. It's a, it's a really nice uh, note to add to a lot of beverages, cocktails. So this is one ounce of Cointreau. Okay, and now we have some white cranberry juice. Did you know this exists? This is really nice. And if you want it, so if you want to make a light color, white color drink, this is a great way to do it. So I'm going to add three quarters of a cup. Actually, I might just go ahead and add a whole cup. Okay, a whole cup. So again, we have white cranberry juice, we have Pinot Grigio white wine, we have vodka and Cointreau. And so basically what you wanna do with this is you're gonna let it steep in the fridge. Now obviously if you let it steep for a while, the, the basically what's gonna happen if you let it steep is that the flavors of the fruit infuse this. Okay, but because we've already got fruit juice in there, it's not absolutely necessary to wait. So we're gonna actually pour a glass right now. So let me just move these things out of the way. And let me show you my glass. Let me uh, actually just get I wonder if this goes, yeah. So this is, this. if you get a um, bartending set, this is uh, the spoon that comes with your set. And this actually, oh no, it won't. It doesn't fit in there. Okay, I was hoping that that would work, but it's not. Okay, let me see if I have something. What do I have that's tall and thin? There is, um, this guy, I guess I'll just have to use the end of a wooden spoon. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna stir that all together. And this'll, this'll be nice tomorrow too. Okay, so there we go. So this is how it's looking. Okay, now what I do with my glass is I saved some of the fruit before I put it into this bottle. 
So I have a couple of fresh cranberries as a garnish on the top. Let me just put those to the side for a second. And in here I have a couple of apple slices, a couple of lime slices, and a couple of little cranberries down in the bottom. Okay, so we're gonna pour a glass. Okay, now I'm gonna pour it about three quarters of the way full. And that's because we're going to also add some lemon lime sparkling water. So this is this is a brand I've been using a lot lately. It's called Ice Sparkling Water. This is the lemon lime flavor. So with sangria, you don't want to add the soda to your bottle. It's when you serve it, that's when you're going to add your soda or your sparkling water. So now we're going to fill this up with the sparkling water. Give that a nice little fizz. Okay, and then we're going to take our garnish and put that on top. Okay, there you go. White Christmas Sangria. Mm. I hope you have a wonderful holiday season. I'm going to be sharing lots of fun tips over the next couple of weeks. So you take care and I will see you soon.